In this video, I wanna share with you what I would do if I was $100,000 in debt right now. And let's just say half of it is student loans and half of it is credit card. If you focus on just defense, you know it's gonna take longer, but if you focus on cutting expenses while increasing income, now you can get this done a lot quicker. And guess what? When you're out of debt, but still making more income, Great, now you have more income coming for the rest of your life. The first thing I would do is ask my boss for a meeting. And in this meeting, we'll be discussing ways that I can offer more value to him so that he looks better, so that he can get a promotion, so that I can get a promotion. I want it in writing, I wanna know exactly, okay, I'm looking to advance. What is it that you're looking for me to do to exceed expectations? What can I do that's so valuable that it would be worth a raise in three months, in six months, in a year's time? But I wanna know that and I want it in writing of, okay, we need these reports done better, we need this, you need to develop this skill. I wanna know that if I crush these three things, these four things, that in six months, when I have evidence of this, then I know that we can have a discussion about a raise. And if you Google Ramit Sethi, negotiation, career negotiation, anything like that, you'll find some wonderful specific ways you can go about it. But you wanna make sure that if you're busting your ass at your job, you're doing it in the way that's helping your boss the most, helping your company the most, so that you're becoming more valuable, so that you're worthy of the raise, not just well, I'm here, I'm here, I didn't quit, I'm mediocre. That's not worthy of moving up. I would also be using downtime a lot more effectively. Instead of just washing the dishes and walking the dog, I would be focusing on learning a skill that perhaps will help you get a raise at work or help you make money on a side hustle or in a business. Why not listen to a podcast on selling on eBay or how to make money as an Airbnb host or an Uber drive or something like that. And then on the nights and weekends, I would be actually making more money because if you can make 500 bucks extra nights and weekends, well, 500 bucks times four weekends, okay, now $2,000 extra per month, you can really put some serious damage into these credit cards. And remember, when you are working to earn money, that's more time away from you on Amazon buying stuff. Another part of hustling is building relationships and strengthening the ones you have. So it's very important for me to always be reaching out, seeing who are the top people that I know, the most inspiring, successful, the ambitious people, what are they pursuing and how can I help them on that? Because maybe I have a bit of extra time and I can volunteer to help them and that will pay off in the long run because an opportunity will come up a year down the road that pays 20 grand and that'll cut my debt or that will just go towards extra income when debt is paid off. The bottom line is strengthening, strengthening these relationships and building new ones and cultivating it is always a worthwhile investment. I would also recruit support because this is not easy. I would want my friends and family to know what's going on and I'd wanna be vulnerable because I know some of my friends and family would be struggling with debt themselves. So maybe it's like, hey, you know what? Thank you so much for opening up to me that you're struggling with debt and you're really hustling to get out because I am as well. How about we call each other every week and just check in and talk about what our victories were and what are, what are the low points of the week and we could just hold each other accountable. It is so much easier when you have someone to go through this process with. So I would be online, I'd be on Dave Ramsey groups, meetup groups, anything possible to make sure I'm around people that are in the same boat, that we're helping each other get out of this situation and build wealth and get out of debt, rather than my old friends who may be great people, but would always be inviting me on vacations or to dinners or places where my budget would just go out the window. I would have to spend time with them working out or going on hikes and doing things for free rather than, all right, well, I guess I have to spend $100 on this dinner because I'd feel bad if I don't. That's not the point. You should not resent your friends or your family members. You wanna be around people that are helping you and let them know the situation you're in so that they can actually say, all right, you know, we'll meet up for a hike. I'm so happy for what you're doing and the path that you're on. Good luck, let me know if I can help. At the end of each month, I would go back and reflect. What went right, what went wrong? Did I make more money than I expected? Did I not make more money? Did I spend more than I expected? Did I just do a great job? Was I too exhausted? Did I not spend enough time on my relationships? And I would tweak it for the following month. And if I did really well, I would reward myself. But a reward has to be in line with progress. If you really crushed it that month and paid off $2,000 extra towards your debt, then maybe you treat yourself to a $100 dinner. 
I would do that because I'd want to stay the course long term. I would not want to burn out. So whatever it is, maybe it's just a massage and a nice dinner for two with your spouse, something like that. But that does not mean you go on a thousand dollar vacation to Disney. It means, okay, save 2000. Now, how can I reward myself with a hundred or 150? If I was not seeing the results that I wanted, I would have to up the ante. I would have to take more extreme measures, which means could be moving cities. A couple of years ago, I moved from LA back to Florida to save more money, to make more money, and it was a sacrifice. I actually lived with my parents in Tampa for about eight months until I moved down to Miami. It sucked, but it was very humbling, and I know that I'll never have to do that again because I'm out of debt, I have a lot of money saved up, I have a lot of money to invest, and great, I did what I had to do. You'll have to do what you have to do. That means you could have to change careers. If you hate being an accountant, but you have a degree in it and it pays way more, maybe you're, you're an accountant for a few years knowing that, okay, after that, I'll be able to do what I love when I have the debt paid off and I have enough money in my savings account. Just like losing weight and getting in shape, you get what you put in. And with paying off debt, how humble are you willing to live? What are you willing to do with your free time? How many hours are you willing to work? It's up to you. You can do this. I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned for my next video where you learn more about how to dominate your finances and own your life. Thanks so much and see you next time.